Good evening, family, and happy Sabbath. Shabbat Shalom. This is Miss Norma. Welcome once more to my YouTube channel. Our reading today for May the 24th is titled, Hide God's Word in Your Heart. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord, one more time for being able to meet together and greet together. I pray, Lord, that everyone here and everyone who will visit this time, this, um, channel in the future, Lord, that you would provide for them, Lord, a blessing that you have prepared from this day, Lord. I ask that you would cover all of us, Lord, from physically, from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, and Lord, in the expanse of our lives, our families, Lord, whether we're a family of one or two or a family of 20 or more, Lord, I ask your blessing upon each and every one of us, Father. Lord, help us to remember to pray, ask you for that song for today, ask you for your joy, Father, and Lord, ask you to secure us, Lord, because we don't know what the day will hold. So I thank you, our Father, for being able to bless all of us, Lord, with this covering, Father, and you will meet it out in due season in each one of our lives. Thank you, our Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, family. Our scripture lesson for High God's Word in Your Heart is from Psalms 119, verse 105, and that's the Old Testament. And it reads thus, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. Several years ago, our pastor preached a sermon about the crucifixion of Jesus. At the end of the sermon, he suggested we read, we each read Matthew chapter 27 from the New Testament every morning. I thought, what a wonderful idea, and determined I would do exactly that. Not long after I had begun to include Matthew 27 to my morning worship, the pathfinders led out in the church service. They have been preparing for the upcoming Pathfinder Camporee by memorizing several whole chapters in the Bible. And they had studied hard to be able to answer any questions on those chapters. I felt impressed. These are just children, I thought. I wondered whether I would be able to do the same. The very next morning, I started to memorize Matthew 27. Guess what? It took a while, but I did it. Amen. Once I had it memorized, I had decided I had to decide which chapter to learn next. Our Sabbath school teacher mentioned his favorite chapter in the Bible was Psalms 18. So I began to learn that chapter. While it was interesting, after a while it dawned on me it was not my favorite chapter. I decided to memorize Psalms 51, which includes my favorite verse, Psalms 51.10. Again, it took a while, but I did it. Next, I made a list of what I thought were the most important chapters for me to learn. I knew the three angels' messages, but could not recite that passage. So, Revelation chapter 14 came next in the New Testament and also the last book of the Bible. The Beatitudes followed, then more Psalms, a chapter each from Luke, Romans, Philippians, and Colossians. Next, I memorized several more Psalms. 1 Corinthians, and several other choices I have written on my list. What a joy it has been to recite all I have memorized, amen, almost every day. Hallelujah. I ask God each morning before I start to give me wisdom and to help me remember my special chapters. If you are interested in learning the Holy Scriptures, I encourage you to start tomorrow with Matthew 27 and then make a list of your own favorite chapters and begin. Do not get discouraged. 
if it takes longer than you expected. Do not give up. Now, family, listen to this. She says, I am an 82-year-old woman and enjoy working on memorizing and reciting God's word every morning as I get ready for my day. By the time I finish, I feel refreshed and can sense my Savior walking with me through the day. Amen. Amen. Our reading today was written by Avonda White Krause. I tell you, if you want to have a successful relationship, what do you have to do, family? We have to communicate and interact. And so that's what strengthens all of us, um, whether it's a human relationship or a divine relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hide God's word in your heart. Um, I know I'm going to um, take on the challenge. I'm going to start with Matthew chapter 27, and I'm going to learn that. So anyone, feel free to join. I hope this uh, reading is a blessing to you in the form of an encouragement. And for some of you, for the first time, getting to know the scriptures. Uh, so enjoy and be blessed. Let us have a word of prayer. Abba Father, Lord, I thank you for this reading in particular. I thank you for the encouragement and joy that is, it has given to me. And I pray, Lord God, that others will be blessed as well. Thank you for the healing and restoration in all of our lives, Father. I don't know when it's coming for anyone, but you do. Father, because we are praying in faith and trusting you, Lord, and submitting to you our manufacturer, Lord. Why should we go to anybody else, Lord? You made us, Lord, and you know what it's going to take to fix us. You know about the brokenness that will come into each and every one of our lives. And you know all about our joys as well, Father. So, Lord, I pray, release your presence and your power, your healing and your restoration um, in this time that we're sharing here this evening, Lord. And I pray that our lives are just strengthened, Lord. As I daily I always ask for a song for the day. But, Father, thank you. Um, I will begin along with others that I believe in faith that will join me and um, reading and studying your word, truly hiding it in our hearts so that we might not sin against you. Thank you, Abba Father, this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessing and healing, family. Happy Sabbath to everyone. This is Miss Norma getting ready to sign off. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend coming up, the holiday and all of those good things. But for now, I'm going to bid you happy Sabbath. And remember that the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who died so that we could live rose again victorious with the keys to death and hell and asked the question, where's your sting? Where's your victory? And we know that our victory is in Jesus Christ. So thank you. God bless. And by his grace, I will see you all on tomorrow morning. And I pray that you have a good night's rest. Amen.